Hello guys and welcome in a new tutorial by the Learn WD channel. Today we're going to see a new tutorial about JavaScript and it is the JavaScript callback functions. In JavaScript, a function can take variables such as strings, numbers, and booleans, etc. So when we take the variable, it does something with the variable and then it returns an output. Now in JavaScript, a function can also take another function as argument, then it will call back or execute the code inside the function in a given time and then will return an output. Say we have a calculator that takes two numbers and does one of the four operations. For example, for the addition operation, we create a function add that takes two numbers and returns the addition of those two numbers. Same thing for the subtraction, for the multiplication and for the division. Now if we create a function called calculator that takes those two numbers x and y and then it calls one of the operation functions and then inside we return the operation function of those two numbers. So the calculator here is an executable code that takes another executable code which is operation function and then run or execute or call back that code in a given time. The operation function here is the callback. When we call the function calculator and we give it 10 and 5 as argument and also a function add, the calculator will execute the code inside the function add in a given time and then it will give us a result, 15 in this example. And the same thing for all the other examples. Now the time of the callback is really important. Say we have a function, some function that takes a callback as an argument. When we call some function and we give it another my function argument, if some function here call back my function immediately, then this will be the first to be executed. And any other code will be the second to be executed. This is what we call a synchronous callback. Now if our function here, some function call back my function in a later time, for example after 10 seconds, then this will be the second to be executed and any other code will be the first to be executed until some function call back my function. This is what we call an asynchronous callback. Let's try this in our browser. So let's get started. I open my browser and the console and my text editor and created an index.html file. Now in inside my index.html file I will create a script element. And then inside it I will create a function which will be a synchronous function. So my function here will take another function then in a given time it will call the function I'll pass an, a string synchronous then I will call my function synchronous and then I will give it uh, callback function which is alert and then I will alert a test. Now if I hit save and refresh my browser then I will get synchronous first so my function or my callback function is the first to be called then the alert test. Now I will use the set timeout function the set timeout function here takes a callback which is alert and then a time one second and then a parameter I'm giving it a string asynchronous now if I hit save I get the test first then after one second I will get the asynchronous in the alert box See, so this is an asynchronous function now in this tutorial there is a bonus
I will create a function called underscore one. Inside the function, what it does is just to print to our console first uh, function. Copy this and create another function underscore two. It will print to our console second function. Then inside our first function, I will call the second function. That's a callback. And inside our second function, I will call the first function. Then I will try to call one of the two functions, for example, the first function. In my console here, you see guys that this will never end. The first calls the second, the second calls the first, and then it will crash my my text editor live preview and this won't stop so guys don't do this at home so guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like my video see you guys